welcome everyone to this new part of the Mickey Mouse and his friend's story against evil. In the last part, Mickey Mouse finally arrived, but uh, we only saw him for a brief moment. So, Mickey dealt with Demon Tide, and now we have to deal with the rest of the Tide, meaning even more Demon Tide and more evil enemies. Donald, Goofy and Sora are in the spaceship. Yes, we now have a spaceship. And we are in space. We're gonna have a huge amount of fun in space because it's a gummy... some kind of a gummy ship? It's like it's built out of Legos. But then we'll let's see what Jiminy, the cricket, and the rest of the crew have to say. What's this? But I don't know how. Maybe this. Hooray! He picked up! Huh? Dale? Hey, Chipper! I finally got him! Hurry up, Chip! Well, it's about time! Chip? You gotta answer the phone, Sora, or we can't give you updates. We got lots and lots of important stuff we want to tell you. That's why we asked Master Yen Sid to make sure you got this gummy phone we made you. So we'd be able to stay in touch with you at all times. And it takes pictures. Oh, you finally finished it. Say, with this gummy phone, we can talk to each other across worlds. In fact, I might even try writing my journal on it. Wow, sounds like it's pretty handy, guys. So, what's so important? This! Back when you and Riku quested through the sleeping world, Riku recovered some secret research data that Ansem the Wise hid inside you! Ansem's code! Mm-hmm. We've been working our tails off trying to crack it and see what it says. The data has been encrypted, so we've only deciphered some of it. Huh? Oh, I guess we haven't spoken since the castle. I'm Ienzo. Alias is here too. Alias, whatever's between you and Roxas, it's in the past. <sighs> Zora, the reason we're here is because you and your friends defeated our nobodies, thereby recompleting us. We cast off our hearts by choice, make no mistake, but we didn't know that Xemnas, or rather, Xehanort, was deceiving us. Huh? Xemnas? Oh, he's with them! Not anymore. Xemnas and Xehanort have no hold over us now. We're just students of the heart. Exactly the same as we were before all of this began. Yeah, right. Hmm. But you know, now that I think about it, Axel's on our side now. We have friends we want to bring back to this world just the same as you. To do that, we have to work together. In that spirit, Sora, we found some intriguing data in the bit of code we deciphered. Is it about me? Yes. In order to piece your memories back together, our teacher Ansem the Wise took a close look at your heart. And what he found is that your heart doesn't belong just to you. It doesn't? Gorge, you don't seem surprised. Yeah. Honestly, I suspected as much. There's another heart inside mine. I think it's Roxas's. Just like Namine is still inside Kyrie's. Interesting. Well, no one knows your heart better than you. To be honest, we still have a plethora of questions on our side. But the idea has merit. It's incredible enough that you and your nobody are able to coexist. If you share a heart, no wonder someone as remarkable as you caught Ansem the Wise's eye. We'll keep investigating based on your hypothesis. I'll be in touch. Okie dokie, we'll give you fellas a ring if there's anything else. Remember, me and Chip, the guys at Radiant Garden, and King Mickey and everybody are never far away. And Jiminy, would you do us a favor? Leave it to
to me. I have to find Roxas and save him. The others are following Aqua's heart. So I'll follow Roxas's heart. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Trust the guidance that your heart gives you, Sora. That's what Master Yen Sid said. <laughs> oh, that's easy. And here we are in space. Look how beautiful this whole place is. It's incredible. And our cute little ship. We can also model the ship however we want, edit it, customize it, but that's something we'll be able to do later on. There are many prizes, many things we can get in this whole space realm, as there are many different types of enemies as well, and many collectibles that our crew definitely wants to upgrade the ship and to upgrade themselves even. Look at this, woohoo! We are going through many pots and galaxies and this is going to be immense fun. But what is this? Oh, the, this is the enemy. This is the first fight that we are about to go into. And how does the fight look like? Oh, look at this, it's like they're dancing. It's like they're dancing in front of us and we just have to shoot them while they are dancing. But they're also firing right back at us. It's a dangerous situation, but our gummy ship is absolutely equipped with all the tools in order to defeat the enemies. They are forming so many different formations and so many different ways to attack us, but we can avoid everything because our small ship is very maneuverable and agile. We can go from left to right, up and down, wherever we want, very, very fast. I really like this combat. This combat is so much fun because there are so many things happening on the screen. Look at it, everything is happening. Oh, how many effects. Now we have some circles, now we can go left. Oh man, this is just, this is the best, this is the best. And now we have complete the fight, the fight is over and our rank is A. And that is amazing. I don't know if that is the highest rank, but uh, we definitely did an amazing job. Let's go into another booster. I'm going to call it the speed booster pot. It's like we are going into another galaxy. So our goal now is to find another part of the story. Another, uh, the other part of the story is gonna happen in a place called Twilight Town. But we gotta find the Twilight Town in the galaxy. Thankfully, there's an indicator on the screen, that green dot, and we have to follow the green dot to get to that point. There are also mines on the way and many more enemies, but we'll try to avoid them all and get to the Twilight Town as soon as possible. I still think this space thing is fun. I love being in space. There are so many cool things to explore here, but I still want to get back into the normal fighting and normal talking and all the beautiful cutscenes with our friends and many, many more things and many more, more new people. We're going to meet new characters along the way from different Disney realms. It's gonna be epic. And this is the Twilight Town that I, that I was talking about. Let's go in. We forgot to fill Master Yen Sid in on what happened. Should we go back? Hmm. You mean about Maleficent and Zigbar? No. The others have already got enough on their plates as it is. Why go stressing them out? The three of us know how to handle a couple of old adversaries, right? Yeah, I guess. But doesn't that thing Pete said bother you? The black box? Come on, we're talking about Pete. That means it's probably no big deal. Oh, I don't know. Oh, cool! The trams are still here! So, uh, it hasn't been that long. Feels like it. Maybe you're feeling what Roxas feels because he misses home. Mm-hmm. Actually, I ran into Roxas in the Sleeping Worlds. 
It was like seeing into his heart for the first time. Oh, it was a test to see if your data version was ready to face the hurt that you carry inside. Was I ready? I do no hurt. When I lost Riku and Kairi, and later when I lost the Keyblade, and you guys had to go on without me like that? Having no one to turn to was the worst kind of hurt, but that just shows how much you mean to me. Carrying around a little hurt can't be all that bad. Hurting is part of caring. Of course, any Sora is still Sora. So wait, if Roxas feels something, then we're in the right place. Roxas, I'm gonna find you. Huh? What is that? Nobody! <gasps> As soon as we got in, we have been welcomed by a couple enemies. And you ones, look at them, they look like aliens. What are they? They, they, they are weird looking, but what is this? We now have a new power. We can unlock our first Link. These are very cool attacks and we can now ride our Link. And bows, bows and inflate it as much as we want, like a balloon. The bigger it is, the more damage it is going to do. That is absolutely amazing idea. What a brilliant thing to do. This is a fun way to fight, is it not? Aliens don't, don't stand a chance against our me, um, um, what is it, a cat? Uh, an inflatable cat, something like that. Very fun thing to use to, to ride and to have fun with. Look at, oh, this is now epic. So many little ones. But the enemies have managed to survive all our attacks. So no resting for us, no resting, we still have to be on top of the game, no rest for anyone. We need to continue smacking them with the Keyblade and our friends. Donald and Goofy need to be protected. And they can protect us, Donald can heal us while Goofy serves as, as something of a tank. He manages to be in the front lines and then draw attention to himself so that Sora and Donald Duck can do their own thing. Incredible amount of moves. And this is the powder chip again. Talking about incredible amount of moves, this is one of my favorite moves in the game. Having a powder chip that can smack enemies left, turn right, back and forth. While we are swiveling from one side to another. I mean, this can never get boring. This is absolutely epic. The coolest, one of the coolest parachutes I have ever seen. Glowing in all sorts of ways. When will these enemies stop coming? Is it over finally? No? Okay. And there we go. Hmm. What was that voice? I know I heard it. I didn't hear it. You sure it wasn't the wind? Or something else? I'm pretty sure. Where'd they come from? Huh? Get the ice cream later. Oh. <laughs> what? Hold up. See? Voices. New ones? <laughs> what? Hainer? Pence! Olette! Oh, what is that? <laughs> hey, Sora! Hello, goodbye! Uh, oh. Go! We got this!
Oh no, so we have another demon type. Mickey hasn't been able to defeat them, or maybe this is completely another one. I don't know if there's the same one or not, but we can't keep questioning that. It doesn't matter. What we need to do is keep attacking it. This is a very dangerous enemy, the, da the most dangerous one so far. And it has immense amount of little demons, or whatever they are. And we do destroy every single one of them, or at least try to make them escape. We'll see. So far, we are really doing well for them. Oh, now we, we took some damage, but it's fine. Donald can heal us, I'm sure of it, eventually. And we have some potions, so we should be fine. But now I will use our many move, one of our many moves, and that is the Keyblade attack. That should deal a lot of damage to these little uh, demons. And, well, this is an army of demons. This is some kind of a wave, an army, whatever it is. It's extremely dangerous, but we'll get through it. We'll get through it. We can do this. But you gotta be careful because they glow from blue to red. That can be quite a problem, because uh, when they are red, then they become aggressive and they attack. And when they attack, they do a lot of damage. And we can't really block that, but we need to keep running and dodging and trying to stay behind the enemy. Thankfully, we have our new Link, the inflatable Meow Meow, or whatever the name is. And we're gonna keep jumping to defeat the enemy. Shouldn't be too long, but I don't know. Look at the health bar. The health bar of the enemy is immense. The largest so far. Can we even defeat them? Because this is going to take... Well, maybe it's not going to take a long time. We'll see. Maybe we find something that could make this fight much shorter. Maybe this Link. But the Link problem is Link can't catch them. And it doesn't really help us that much. Uh, you, what will we do? What will we do? Let's keep chasing and attacking. We have to attack and then dodge and then attack and then dodge. Donald can help with his many missiles and Goofy with his shield attack. But I don't know if Goofy is in mood to do it. So far we are doing well, but we are not starting to take damage and they are far from done. We need to deal, we need to keep going, keep attacking or a long long time in order to get them out if that is what the game was promised because look at their health bar their health bar is barely disappearing but we can do it with the power of friendship we can do everything this is so cool fighting in the air dodging and attacking dodging and attacking i love it one of my favorite things about this game is fights that are the fights in the air. Oh, there we go, we succeeded! Excellent, let's watch the ending cutscene, and that will be for this part. <laughs> nice fighting. Thanks, Sora. Painter, Pence, Olette, it's been ages. What? It hasn't been that long. Yes, hey. Donald, Goofy, how are ya? We're good. Howdy there, Olette. So does this mean that weird stuff's going down again? Are you kidding, uh. Pence? When have we ever seen a tornado of shadowy blobs before? It's not weird. This is underprecedented. Hmm, I guess it is. The creatures from the last time were bright white. These things must be new. Man, I can't wait to get to sleuthing. We're already done with the school project, silly. Whatever's going on, you wouldn't be here unless you had a good reason. Which is? Well, actually, we're looking for Roxas. Roxas? <sighs> That's funny. I don't know any Roxas, mm. but the name sounds familiar. Maybe we bumped into him somewhere. Uh, that's one way to put it. Actually, he might have been friends with another version of you. Hmm? This photograph. Yeah, we've got the same one. Oh, yeah. The other Twilight Town. 
It's like one of those spot the differences puzzles, except really easy. I guess in that town, we're friends with this Roxas person. Sora, let us help you track Roxas down. <laughs> really? Sure, he seems like a pretty cool guy. <laughs> yeah, he is. Great, then let's all go ask around town. If alternate us knew Roxas, then maybe alternate other folks did too. Mm -hmm. Sora, you three should go to the place in the photo. It's the old mansion. The three of us will cover places in town. Thanks. Oh yeah, I got this phone thingy that takes pictures. <laughs> Wanna snap a photo while we're all here? Sure, that's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Wait, who's taking it? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, why do I have to do it? Hey, tough luck. You drew the short straw. It's okay. Oh, I'm sitting out of the photo with you, Donald. Can you take the photograph? <laughs> Everybody smile! <laughs> wow! That came out great! Oh, a lucky emblem! Lucky emblem? Oh, yeah, they are huge right now. Supposedly, these things are hidden all over town. And if you get a picture of them, they'll bring you good luck. Cool! <laughs> Wait, look guys, is that... <laughs> You're right! I see it too! <laughs> I knew it! Good luck, because they're not all this easy to find. Okay, we better start asking around. You start by checking out the old mansion. We'll catch up. Got it. <laughs>